In today's video, I'm going to do an overview plus my thoughts on the Del C Chatelet 24 inch hard spinner. If you like this video or even find it the least bit helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it when you do. But let's first start with an overview of this piece of luggage. So it is from the brand Del C Paris and it's part of their Chatelet line. The Chatelet line does include pieces in both hard side like this and also soft side. Um, for the hard side spinner, which is what this is, they do come in three different sizes. This is the 24 inch, then they also come in a 21 inch, which is your traditional carry-on piece of luggage. I did actually purchase that piece as well, but I returned it, and I'll talk a little bit about why when I get further into the video. And then it even comes in a larger size, a 28 inch. The luggage comes in two different colors, chocolate brown, which is what this is, um, and when I think chocolate brown, I think of a really rich, warm brown, but um, this really isn't rich and warm. It's uh, a little bit cooler tone, but it's gorgeous. It's exactly what I wanted, but um, don't let the chocolate brown make you think it's going to be more of that really rich kind of color. Then it also comes in champagne, which is a cream color, and it is absolutely gorgeous as well. Um, I probably preferred that color even a little bit more than this one, but I was worried about the wear visually of that bag, and so I did opt for this color. This specific piece of luggage retails for about $300, though you can definitely find it for less than that. I purchased mine off of Amazon, and um, Amazon, of course, the price always fluctuates, but it seems to run around $210, $220, 230 somewhere in there. Um, when I purchased mine, though, they actually had some Amazon warehouse deals, and so I did purchase mine in like-new condition from a warehouse deal, and so I think mine was actually more like $180 or $190, and when it came in, it truly was like-new condition. So. Um, if you can find that deal, I definitely recommend that. I'll go ahead and link to this down in the description box in case you'd like to go look at it on Amazon. I do also sell it though in um, some department stores. I actually saw it in person in Macy's first, and um, when I went home to do a little bit more research, that's when I found it on Amazon and found that it was cheaper on Amazon than it was at Macy's at least at that point in time. So the exterior of the bag is made from a very durable polycarbonate. Um, finish and it's got just this little bit um, textured diamond pattern which helps reduce the look of um, scuffs. Then it does have faux leather um, detailing here which just gives it a nice contrast. It does have four double spinner wheels that allow it to spin um, while it's sitting flat or of course when you have it tipped back and you can spin in all different directions. It also comes with a flat lock that is TSA compatible. So um, actually one of the times that I was traveling with this, I did get the note in my bag that told me my, my bag had been searched. And so um, this allows TSA to be able to get in it, but nobody else, so you can keep the bag secure. It has a telescoping handle that locks in two different positions. And it also has a unique brake system that allows you to lock the first couple of wheels. So if you're on a tram or a hill or something and you want to make sure that it doesn't roll anywhere, um, you can do that. I've not used that feature, but it does have that. The inside of the bag has what they call a soft touch lining and it is fully lined. And it's this um, really nice red color, which I think adds a nice pop to the exterior of the bag. And the lining is very soft. It feels very luxurious. Everything about this bag um, feels very luxurious. It has two fully zippered compartments. Um, the top flap has this mesh uh, long zip compartment that you can put things in and then each side has uh, the compartment underneath that flap and you're able to tie down your clothes and keep things from moving around. Then the other side flap has the two um, smaller flat pockets and then of course it's got another large pocket that you've got uh, the tie down on this side as well. And then it also comes with a couple of pouches that match the lining. Um, you have a larger one and then you have a smaller one and these pouches are great for um, shoes, um, accessories, uh, you know, dirty laundry if you're not going to have a lot of laundry. Um, sometimes that's what I use this one for and then I'll use this one for my shoes. It just kind of depends on how long the trip is. 
And then it also comes with the hanger, um, although quite honestly, I've never taken the hanger with me when I've traveled. Um, so to me, this isn't really a particular bonus, but it is in there. So being that this is the 24 inch, the packing dimensions are um, 24 inch by 16 and a half by um, 11 inches. The overall dimensions of the suitcase, including the wheels though, are uh, 27 inches by 17 and a half by 11 and a half. The suitcase weighs in at 10.8 pounds, of course, when it's unpacked. So I've had this piece of luggage now for about two months and I have um, taken it on five different trips with me, including three trips where I was flying. So I feel like I've really gotten to know this bag pretty well and have formed, um, and have formed my opinion on what I like about the bag and maybe what I don't like so much. And so I thought it might be helpful to share that with you in case you're looking at this bag so you can judge whether this would be the right bag for you. I'll first of all say that this was the first hard-sided piece of luggage um, that I've ever had. So um, I think some of the things that I'm going to talk about are probably very similar across all the hard-sided luggage, but being that I've only ever had soft-sided zip-around uh, cases before, um, this was a little bit of a learning experience of how to pack and um, how it works, uh, some of the things to expect with it, etc. So first of all, let's start with the pros. I think that this is the best piece of luggage out there that's not maybe something like Louis Vuitton or, you know, a, a true prestige luxury kind of brand, but um, kind of for the more normal type of luggage, I think this is uh, the most beautiful piece of luggage that's out there. It feels very luxurious, the outside is gorgeous, the inside is gorgeous, it's got this nice feeling interior. And so for me, I wanted something that just felt nice. I've always had just kind of less expensive stuff that I just bought, you know, at Marshalls or Home Goods or whatever. And so I was ready to, you know, kind of upgrade and, and get something a little bit nicer. With that, I feel like everything about this is also very, very well made. Um, it glides like a dream. Sometimes I've rolled it along without tilting it back just because you know I'm getting on or off transportation or something and that works great all different directions as I mentioned um, the wheels are very sturdy they're also very quiet so you don't have that loud rolling noise that you get with some cheaper pieces of luggage the handle here the telescoping handle is very smooth it's really easy to be able to do one-handed so if you've got other stuff you're um, you know, getting in and out of vehicles or you need to be able to do this quickly, you're not gonna have to worry about you know, trying to pull this out. You know, some of the cheaper ones, you, know, you kinda have to rock and it's hard to get them to catch. None of those problems, so that works really well. Also, I like these two bags that I came with. I find these very helpful, so that's just a little extra nice, nice touch. And and I found the compartments to be really great to pack in. I actually uh, started using packing cubes with this. So here are the packing cubes that I bought. Um, so I've got this medium size and I have two of the smaller ones and um, you know, being able to use the tie down straps, I can get everything in here nice and secure and know that when I get to my destination, it's all going to still be in good shape. Being that I've flown several times with this, um, I can also say that the durability of the polycarbonate um, is good. Um, there's definitely some scratches and scuffing, and that is, you know, what I expect with traveling commercially. Um, so, you know, I've got some scratches and scuffing here, um, a little bit right there, you know, just a few other places you might be able to kind of pick up from the lights as it's hitting it. Um, but in person, it's not that noticeable. Um, the faux leather lining, I do have a couple of black marks um, that have developed. After the first time I flew, I had a couple of those. I took a magic eraser and I scrubbed and I was able to get those up. I left these here so you could see. So this was after um, two more trips with flying, you know, just a little bit of uh, black marks. You know, and I have a couple of other uh, black marks on it. But I think if I want to get those off, like I said, the magic eraser works just fine. So now let's talk about the things that I don't love as much about this piece of luggage. So as I said, this is my first hard-sided case. And so one of the things um, 
that I noticed with this is the space is pretty evenly distributed between the top compartment and the bottom compartment. And so um, for me, that presents a couple of challenges. One is it you can't get things that are super tall in either of the compartments because it's basically splitting the case. Whereas previous suitcases that I've had where the zipper was all the way at the top of the flap and there was very, very little room, you could get taller things. Um, you know, I've been able to work around that. That hasn't been a big deal, but when I bought the 21 inch, that was the deal breaker for me is I couldn't get my makeup case in there without feeling like I was going to bust through the flap when I was trying to zip it. And so I just decided that that didn't work for me. So that may not be an issue for other people, but, um, for me, that was not a way of I'd ever had to pack before. And so that was a challenge. The other reason that presents a challenge for me though, is because when I get to wherever I'm going, um, I like to be able to open my suitcase up like I have right here and have some things down here and then be able to get into here. But because this is so thick and um, by the time you fill it with stuff, it gets pretty weighty. This, the stress of being able to lean this up against a wall or whatever um, puts a little bit of stress and it just makes it hard to, to work with. So what I've really had to do is empty out this top container and if I want to set up my suitcase that way. Whereas if you have a flap, you don't have to worry about that quite as much. Another thing that I wish this bag had that it does not is an expandable zipper. So when I need a little bit more room, I wish there was a way for me to do that. I've seen hard sided cases that offer that. So it's not like you can't get that in a hard sided case. This one just doesn't have that to offer. I realized that when I bought it and I bought it anyway, but having traveled, you know, a couple of times, that is something that, um, for me would just make it a little bit better with the bag weighing in at 10.8 pounds. Another one of my cons, um, is going to be the weight. But once again, I think this is really a pretty typical weight for a hard sided case. When I was uh, looking around at some other pieces of luggage, this wasn't really that much different. You can find some that are um, a couple of pounds lighter than this. So they do exist. Um, they're typically very, very expensive pieces of luggage. Um, so I'm not saying it's not possible, but this seems to be about mid weight range for a hard sided case. So by the time I fill this up, it is a little bit of a challenge for me to be able to like, say, pick it up and put it in the trunk of a vehicle or, um, you know, whatever it is. So, um, I've always been able to pack it and keep it under the 50 pounds weight limit that, um, is typical when you fly. So I've never gotten it over 50 pounds, but 50 pounds, you know, I've gotten it up to like 45, 46 pounds. And that's a lot of weight for me to be able to pick up and um, do something with combined with, um, another con for me is I wish it had like a third handle or, um, place that you could grab down on the bottom. So in addition to the telescoping handle that I was sharing, it does have just a typical handle on this side, and then it does have a handle you can grab it by here. But when I want to lift it up, part of the reason it's so hard for me once it's packed and heavy is because I don't have anywhere I can grab it quickly here. I have to get my finger under the bottom and be able to do that. And so I wish a lot of suitcases will have just a slight indentation place where you can kind of slip your hand in. And so I wish this suitcase had that. So there are my thoughts, both pros and cons overall for this bag. Um, based on what I know now, and if I had to go back and do this over again, I'm a little mixed on whether I would. For this particular piece of luggage, I absolutely would. But when I was purchasing this, I was thinking I wanted to have a matching 21 inch and 24 inch piece of luggage. And so the fact that the 21 inch didn't work for me, um, you know, now I have this gorgeous 24 inch and I still need to find something in a 21 inch. And it's unlikely that I'm going to find something that coordinates with this. So I'll have a mismatched pair of luggage. That's not a big deal. I've always had mismatched luggage in the past, but you know, one of my goals with, uh, needing to purchase luggage this time around was to kind of upgrade, get something that looked a little nicer. And part of that was pieces that match. So, um, because of that, I don't know for sure if I would purchase this again, or if I'd go another route, but, um, I'm still very pleased with this piece of luggage, how it's held up, how it looks. Um, so I would not hesitate. I have actually thought about buying a second 24 inch, 
um, just for trips where um, I don't want to um, have a piece of carry-on and you know maybe two 24 inches would would work just fine so I would get another one of one of these just in general if I needed a second 24 inch piece of luggage so there's my overview and review of the Delcy Chatelet 24 inch hard sided spinner I hope you found this video helpful if so please be sure to give it a thumbs up also, if you like my video and you're interested in seeing more reviews on home, lifestyle, um, I also do makeup, um, a lot of decorating, then please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and until next time, bye.